Of course, if you're Neo in the Matrix, then the video scopes are easy to read. Psh. But what if there was a better way? I mean, cameras like the Blackmagic camera and Atomos field monitors feature a false color mode for visually gauging correct exposure. So what about for the color grade? What if there was a LUT or even a plugin that could help you do the same thing? Hey guys, Denver Riddle with you here. Like you, I love it when I know that I'm getting my exposure exactly spot on. The scopes can oftentimes be intimidating to read, requiring lots of practice. And sometimes I just wanna quickly be able to see where my highlights are too bright or if my shadows are too dark. And even more importantly, are my skin tones in the right place? Well, wouldn't it be cool if there was some kind of indicator or a visual cue that could tell me these things? For example, zebra patterns in cameras tell you when the whites are too bright or clipped. Well, I have a secret weapon for you for getting proper exposure every time. I'm referring to false color. With this turned on, we can see clipped highlights as red, crushed shadows as purple, and skin tones, well, they should be in the green and pink areas for proper exposure. Now, the bad news is you're not gonna find any features like this built into Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, or Final Cut Pro 10. But the good news is I have specially prepared a false color LUT for you that you can simply drop on your footage and use. Alternatively, if you're on a Mac and you're using one of these softwares, our Cinema Grade plugin lets you get false color mode built in and it has a unique approach where you can literally click directly on the colors and drag up or down to change the exposure. Now, before I show you how you can get this LUT, I wanna reveal how we created the LUT in the first place and how false color works. What false color does is it transforms different exposure values in the image into a color. Now, keep in mind, this is only as a reference. You're obviously not gonna deliver your images this way. The colors represent a range of exposure values with purple representing zero IRE at the bottom of the scope and red representing 100 IRE at the top of the scope. Skin tones should then fall between 40 to 70 IRE depending on how light or dark the skin is of the talent and the context of the image. We generally want to shoot for the skin to be in the green pink areas with some shades of gray. Before creating the LUT, let me show you the end result. This image is clearly underexposed, and if we apply the false color LUT in Lumetri, we see those dark areas represented as cyan and blue with a tint of purple where our shadows are crushed. We also see that most of our talent's face is tinted with shades of blue representing the range between 10 and 20 IRE. So we can safely assume that this is too dark. To fix the issue, we'll add an instance of Lumetri right above the one containing the false color LUT so that we're making the correction happen before the false color and we'll adjust the controls in the basic panel to fix the exposure. Now for it to be properly exposed, in most cases, it should be tinted with dark gray, pink, green, or light gray, especially in the skin tones, which is our major focus. And if the highlights should ever become red, we know that we've gone too far and they're becoming clipped or blown out where we're losing detail. So we wanna keep these areas in the yellows and oranges. Again, we should try to avoid our shadows being purple or crushed unless it's for a stylized effect. Now let me show you how we created this look because I think that you're gonna find this really fascinating. Jumping into Resolve, we're gonna use this image to create the LUT, and if you're interested, you can download this image. I'll have a link for it in the description. You'll see the bottom row contains a luminance gradient from total black to pure white, covering the whole spectrum from zero IRE to 100 IRE. On the upper row, we have a representation of the same gradient, but using its corresponding false colors. Now going to the qualifier in Resolve, we'll isolate each of the luma ranges, creating a layer mixer node for each node. To qualify each range, just click over the range with the eyedropper and enable the highlight feature so only our selection is visible. Then disable the hue and saturation sliders and move the luminance slider to refine our selection. You can add a little soft to the limits of your selection if you'd like. Now to start transforming these, beginning with changing purple to black, I'll disable the highlight feature 
and use the offset color wheel to tint it to purple, making it match as close as possible to the purple rectangle in the upper row. We can also modify the saturation and general exposure if we want to get a better match. Isn't this really cool? Now I'll jump to the next layer node and tackle the blue range. It's going to take a while to do this for each range, so I'll fast forward the process until the whole bottom row matches to the upper row. Now we're doing all these transformations over a gray gradient, but real images will have colors. Because we're evaluating the luminance and not colors, we can get rid of them for the moment. For that, I'll create a corrector node that sits between the original image and the layer mixer nodes and bring the saturation down to zero. Then I'll right click over the clip in the timeline and choose Generate 3D LUT. And bon appetit, enjoy your LUT. Now every image you apply this LUT to, it'll first be converted to black and white, and then each luminance range will be transformed into a color, giving you a false color feature. Let's try it. Here in Final Cut Pro 10, I have a log image, which is in need of an exposure and contrast adjustment. I'll use the custom LUT effect to apply the false color LUT. You can see now that the highlights are blown up. I'll add the color wheels effect, making sure it sits right above the custom LUT effect with the false color LUT so that any corrections we make will be reflected in our false color LUT. As I bring the exposure of the midtones and shadows down, gray and green are introduced into the town's face, meaning we're improving its exposure. But the highlights are still clipping, so I'll bring them down just a bit until they turn orange. Now if I disable the custom LUT effect, you'll see that the image looks much better. And if I turn the correction off, you'll see again how the shot was very flat and a little overexposed. And now with the correction turned back on, it looks properly exposed. Now I know creating your own false color LUT can seem like a lot of work, especially if you're not using Resolve, but I'll have a link for where you can download this LUT in the description below. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is a workaround or a bit of a hack. So if you're interested in trying a more precise algorithm, then I invite you to try CinemaGrade. And with it dragged onto one of your clips, either in Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, or Final Cut Pro 10, we can turn on the false color mode, and then we can literally, quite literally, click on the sky that's tinted red and drag down to reduce the exposure until it turns orange or yellow. We can click on the blue shadow areas and drag down to darken our shadows and give them more density. And finally, we can click on the skin tones and drag up until they're getting nice greens and some pinks in them. Then we can just disable the false color mode and voila, we have a properly exposed image in no time at all. Along with the false color mode in CinemaGrade, you can change colors by clicking directly on them and dragging. You can also get real-time previews of LUTs, chart support for charts like the x right chart, shot matching made super easy, and you can even copy the look of your favorite film. If you want to find out more about the CinemaGrade plugin and try it out for free for seven days, you'll find a link for it in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, that you enjoy the false color LUT and that you check out CinemaGrade. If you want to see even more videos like this because you find them helpful, click the subscribe button and then the bell for more grading videos. I look forward to hearing from you. Let's make the grade.